Today I'm at Southdown Motorhomes and I'm finally getting to look at the stunningly beautiful Heimer Venture S off-roader in detail. From the moment the concept vehicle was launched in Dusseldorf way back in 2019, I've wanted to get inside and have a good look around at all her fabulous features that no one really believed would turn into a production model. Seeing it all in its glory at the motorhome show was great, but the queues to get a closer look were way too long to really explore everything on offer. Not all that much seemed to change from the concept, thankfully, and if you're one of the lucky people able to afford the 200000 plus price tag, you'll be buying a truly unique camper van. The price is invariably the thing people dwell on, but so much investment went into the new and innovative technology that it was always going to be a high-end vehicle. At 6.45 metres long and 2.16 metres wide, it's a relatively compact camper van. You can also get this in a stone grey colour with 16 inch wheels, but this one is the metallic source blue with the chunky 18 inch BF Goodrich tyres and Delta alloys and it is gorgeous. The camera really doesn't do it justice. It weighs in at 4,100 kilograms, so you will need that C1 licence to drive it, but it does have a payload of 533 kilograms. The back corner locker has the uh, EHU or shore power and the standard hot and cold shower. It also has some space to store your hoses and cables. This side locker is mostly filled with the underfloor Truma Sapphire Compact 1800 watt air conditioning unit, but there is a little bit of space to the side. There's a sock fitted on this toilet, so that's handy. That's your plug to plug your sock. A sock is basically a venting system which gets rid of all smells and breaks down the waste quicker. The gas locker, because of the diesel heater, only holds one gas bottle and it's, I think, five kilograms, but it is only used for cooking, so it should last quite a while. So there is a ladder to get onto the rear deck, which then slides into this bristled area of the deck here. There's also an optional barbecue that you can have fitted. And you've got this fabulous bamboo deck, which apparently you can get a windbreak for, which goes around the outside so that you don't fall off and you can stop the wind coming in. Some beautiful paint, specially developed to be heat reflective. It's quite a step up, even with the electric step, because obviously you've got these big tires Let's have a look inside, that's what everybody's interested in. Bin on the door. Coat hooks on the door, very practical. Heating vent in the floor, this will light up when the lights are on. We've got a nice grab handrail. We've got an electric wind out awning, I'm not sure whether it's on, let me see. I'll stop that there because I don't want to put the legs down. So. As you can see, it's your standard silver almister awning, but it is electrically operated, so you don't need a wind out. Slides away neatly, much easier than all that effort. There's an electric step, which tucks away beautifully. There's also various light switches. So that's turned on the blue Heimer and the step light. It also turns on the awning LED, which is dimmable. Let's go inside. Sorry about the background noise. Somebody's having a handover of a vehicle, so it's their day today. We've got a little bit of recessed light here. We've got some more coat hooks. We've got a little shelf to put your keys or whatever. Lovely big long mirror. And then over here we have got some storage. This is the native bamboo finish, which is really nice. In here you've got some of your Truma controls on the iNet system, so that shows your heating and your water. It is a diesel heater, but you can use electricity too. Nice leather straps. These features are actually being passed down to other vehicles, which is lovely. So obviously they spent a lot of money developing this vehicle, but it is filtering down to the other vehicles in the range. This is a folding table, which folds out. You pull out this little leg and it rests against the edge of this door frame. 
it's a little catch here and then it drops down and rests on the door and gives you a fabulous desk area to work at or coffee breakfast whatever there's some little shelves and took away dimmable light so a task light for working which is on a sort of rubbery coating very nice soft feel tucks away there's another hook here for hanging your coat up up here we've got some storage containers and a nice big shelf again with the bamboo and felt the thing that everybody loves most i think about this van is the lovely steps which double up as storage there are some pipes in there for your cold water system that goes back under there nice big drawer space another storage step and the stairway to heaven so to speak <laughs> you've got a cupboard here which has an additional piece of worktop that you take out nice big deep drawer that's nice and self-close as you would expect there's your vegetable peelings bin your electrics are down there too trip switches we have another big drawer with a hidden pull out cutlery drawer nice big drawer no oven in this obviously there's just the hob but your controls for your hobs are here for switching the uh, gas off and again another one that sta would stand quite big bottles up in that one so you've got a storage shelf here with some elastics to hold things firm while you're driving along couple of sockets, a fabulous tap, real tiled wall, it's not plastic or anything. Lovely, this one has a lovely satin finish, stainless or aluminium possibly. Bamboo chopping board, quite a deep big sink that actually. And your tap obviously. Here you have this hook and rail system which is great, these just tilt and can be removed and moved around to wherever you want them. We have a nice big window with the blackout blinds or insect mesh. There's some strip lighting under here for over counter. We've got a Thetford gas hob and these shelf systems are optional extras that you can buy to go on the rail system. Which I am uselessly using, sorry. Which just slot in. You can put whatever you like in those. We've got a nice big cupboard up here. These shelves are height adjustable or removable, so if you want to just put tall cereal packets and things, you could. We've got some shelves here. We have got a socket and USB. And USC, I think I can't quite see properly. There's an air vent up there as well. Here we have a fan extractor fan over the seating area. I've dimmed it, but there are lights here that you can dim to make it cozy. We've got this beautiful curved glass corner window. This is where you can hang the light. So I'll just show you that. So this light can either act as a down light or you can pop it out and hang it up over your table at different heights. You can remove the light and unplug it from there and move it to other areas of the van. There are holes by the front door, I'm going to show you. There's an area here, so you could attach it to here, remove that. And you can either have it as an up lighter going up into the uh, pop top or as a downlighter here over your workstation area. The seating area does convert into a bed but you have to bear in mind it's a single and they only have two seat belted seats in this vehicle so it really is a two person van but this could convert into a bed if you wanted to by lowering down the table and using the back cushions just to fill it in. This is the fridge 
which is actually a very good size. But this vehicle is equipped with water and solar panels for you to be off grid for up to 10 days. So you do need a decent amount of fridge storage, I would say. The table is like one of those old, old granny tables that you used to have years ago, which you collapse the sides by pressing these in. It flaps all the way down, lowers down and tucks away very neatly underneath the seat. All the flaps go down and then you can secure them into position with these uh, straps. To lower the table, you need to lift it slightly, she says, and then it pushes like so and then slides away. under the seat like so and then you've got your fabulous deck that you can just walk out onto it does have a tow bar up to 1780 kilos and you can attach a bicycle rack on the airline rails there is a ladder down the side there there is also a fly screen which can be lowered all the way down so that if you've got all the back doors open and you're out somewhere you can have that down when you're making up the bed obviously this is leatherette infill cushions so the bed would be made up by putting the table down to this height putting the two leatherette pieces in between there is a drawer underneath the sofa there obviously not on this side because you've got the table the fresh water tank holds 120 litres and the wastewater is 100 litres so plenty of water on board to keep you off-road for many days at the back here we have some fabulous hanging space with an LED light. This one is a pull out and has shelves with elastics to stop things falling out the side. So you've got this lovely cream and green combo. It looks really stylish. On this side you've got a an iPad holder that expands, I can't do it one-handed, I'm sorry. Uh, and you light and a bit more shelf storage. The cushions are really squishy and comfortable. Um, yeah, it's a really comfortable seating, unlike some of the bench seats you get. You have got a little bit of storage shelving there to store some things. You've also got more lighting controls here. On the floor, we have got some lashing points here, here and on this side as well, uh, which would allow you to bring things in and strap them down while you're traveling. It's heated uh, not by the usual gas, but by either electric with the 1800 watt electric bar heater or a six kilowatt diesel heater. It also has 10 litre warm water boiler and it's fitted with an altitude kit for when you really do go off piste. We have fabric covered swivel seats with a bolster for your knees so if you're long legged you can do that and you've got your swivel on there right the shower cubicle is quite clever because it pushes out of the way when you're in driving mode and you can actually use the toilet area when it's in that position it's it's not uncomfortably narrow but to use it as a shower room Sorry about the background noise. You need to switch this catch here and that allows you to pull out the shower room door in effect. In here we have a ceramic toilet, Thetford ceramic toilet on a step. We have got some shelf space with elastics we have a fabulous little cupboard up here, also with elastics and a socket, so you could dry your hair in here, which is very helpful. And it stops your bottles from rattling around. There's another little shelf here. There is a window which is tinted, but not uh, completely blacked out, so it has got a blind. There's lighting controls here for dimmable lights. Uh, some towel hooks here. We've got a lovely sink. There's a toilet roll holder underneath there. You've got your tap here. We've got a fabulous mirror. Hello. To open the shower, you press this catch and that swings around out of your way. 
and then that gives you shower head and a rail which you can hang your shower head on and on this side we've got somewhere to store your shower gel and shampoo so we've got three little with hold back areas to stop them falling out and then that pushes back out of the way I assume you have to take up the floor but I'm not sure it's sort of in a jigsaw and there is a waste water hole under there so I'm assuming this comes up but I'm not sure so obviously you've got to set of stairs and on the way up we have got some controls heating controls fan controls beautiful pop top it's a bit like a cloud <laughs> it's beautifully innovative basically it's quite firm it looks squishy and soft but it is quite firm and it does self inflate itself when it thinks it's going down I've got a little skylight here that's open, so that's good. Um, and it is thermally insulated, so it does put warm air in between the layers. So it's sort of like a big bubble. It's like, it is like sleeping in a cloud. And you've got an inflatable mattress here too. So that is really lovely, but you can adjust how thick and uh, firm the mattress is. We've got uh, vents here, so it is heated as well as having the, the heated cloud. We've got a fabulous big window here with mesh that you can open and look out of. Apparently, and obviously you can zip it up and it is padded, this uh, bit that goes over the window when you want to sleep. If we come up here, I don't know if you can see, obviously there's a skylight through there, but that bit there where the black bars are, you can buy a storage box for to fit on the top. You can't put anything on top of the pop top because it does have uh, three solar panels which are 115 watts each. You can bring your light from downstairs and hang it up here. Or there is a, a hole here so you can bring your light and use it as an up light on this sort of table area. So you've got somewhere to put your cup of tea or your phones, you've got USB, USC sockets. We've got a 12 volt socket here as well for the light because obviously it has to be plugged in so if you want to use the light up here you can you can either use it as a hanging light or an up lighter and again you've got controls of all the lights in the whole van it's very comfortable this bed the bed is just over two meters long and 1.38 meters wide so it's plenty big enough this piece of card can fit into this hole at night time it's cut out to the shape of this cutout um, to fill it in so that you don't just fall down past the steps during the night so there is still a hole in it but not a big one that you could fall through there is also a security net just under the mattress i think i possibly looked in this hole i'm not sure that's a lot of electrical equipment that i know nothing about but i will put a link to all the technical details and obviously south downs um sales page on there for you yeah i have to say i am really really impressed with this it's um it's beautiful and you've got another bit of a storage here as well which is also lit i like the little details so yes we've got a cab with swivel seats which you need to slide forward and swivel to get into the driving position and as I say, we are on a Mercedes. Yeah, fabulous. Loads of space, loads of little storage pockets and cup holders and all the usual knickknacks. <laughs> Technical term. Somewhere to empty your wastewater and put your step away. So yeah, like that. It doesn't feel claustrophobic despite the dark interior. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like more information on this vehicle, contact Southdown Motorhomes. I'll put all the details in the description below.